All the materials are in the description box below. And don't worry if you just have a plastic cup or a plastic plate, those will all work just as well. Okay, so we're gonna start by sketching the, um, our llama on our canvas. And I apologize if the sun gets a little too bright right now, the sun and, and the snow is just glaring inside this window. So it's, it's nice for me, but I just hope it doesn't get too bright for you. So I'm actually starting with my detail brush. I just dampened my detailed brush in my water. I have my paint on my palette. I'm all ready to go. I got my candle lit. I got my comfy chair. So hopefully you're in the same boat. Um, make sure you're comfy and relaxed. And first I'm just gonna take my um, dark brown and now I'm just gonna use my detail brush to draw out the um, image of the llama. And this is a very rough image. I'm going to start with the head first, the top of the head. My brush is not quite wet. I'm going to my reference photos on my computer right now, so I'm moving that. I want this, that's why I chose this canvas, because I love how I can make this long neck. So I want this head to be kind of closer to the top, but I want to give enough room for these ears. And the ears aren't perfectly pointy, they're kind of rounded at the top. And this is not perfect guys. We're gonna we're gonna adjust this as we go. I'm gonna make the other ear. I wanna make these ears look kinda curious, like this llama is curious in what we're doing. So um, standing pretty close, facing up and out. That ear's a little bit too small compared to that one, so I'm gonna widen that a little bit. And I'm gonna make the face. Llamas have kind of a small shaped face. Comes down. Like that. I may have to, I may have to um, bring that down a little bit, but that's okay. So right as the ears end, that's where the eyes are. So I'm just going to use my dark brown to, to make the eye, the left eye. And this guy's got poofy hair, so we're going to make that hair later. So right at the bottom of the eye, or the ear, I'm going to make this eye come out. And it's kind of like a diamond shape a little bit. It's definitely not circular. It's, it's more like an oval. I don't know what kind of shape this would be. More like an oval. Same on the other side. Wow, those eyes are way too far. For, for some reason it looks weird to me, but we shall see. We're just gonna test, test it. <coughs> Same with the other side. Those eyes are kind of really close to the side of the body. <laughs> this looks so weird right now. Okay, and then maybe this will bring it in by adding the nose. So this nose is really cute. It's, it's kind of like a, a little wave and it's in line with the eye. So I'm gonna draw a little line here for where I'm gonna start my nose. I'm going to have a curve on both sides of the nose. And then I'm going to have this nose go down in the center. And 
and then I'm gonna fill in with my brown just the top part of that nose. I'm gonna dampen my brush a little bit, take off that gooky brown paint. I'm gonna start now move, moving down to the mouth. He's got like a little cute smile that's almost looks like a, his lip is open. He's got a little slit in his lip. So I'm gonna make that slit right in the middle and then make two little curves on, on both sides. I wanna make this a happy llama, of course. So I'm gonna make that cute little smile. Now I wanna have a line for the chin, so I'm gonna make that chin line come down. And then I also wanna show the separation between the nose and the lips. So I'm just gonna put that there. I wanna put eyelids for this llama, so I'm just gonna carry carry that eye down on the left and the right sides and then just bring it down to make that little eyelid. And then same for the other side, I'm just going to make the eyelid and then in a line that goes down. And Okay, so I think now what I'm going to start doing is making this, this hair kind of go in a little. So I'm just going to make the, these little swoosh marks like looking like hair. And we're going to change that a lot, but we just kind of need an image of where this llama is going to be. I'm not going to go in too much because I, I want to give this llama a skinny neck, but I don't want to give this llama too much of a skinny neck. So now I'm going to, I'm going to bring it into about here. So I have it going out just slightly and now I'm going to bring it into here going all the way down. So you want to bring those hairs all the way down. We're not really trying to emulate um, make the hair look perfect right now because we are just trying to draw it because our next step is to paint the background and I don't want to make it perfect because a lot of this hair will be painted over with our background color. So we're going to go all the way to the very bottom of our canvas and this is a quite a large canvas, a tall canvas. And this llama is so, has such a long neck. Awesome. Okay, so I got to the bottom. I also don't want to forget about the insides of the llama ears, and we're going to use our medium brush for this. <clears throat> so I'm putting, I've washed up my detail brush. I'm now dampening my medium brush, and I'm just going to paint inside these ears. And I'm only going to leave just a very, where this white part is, I'm going to leave that really small skinny rim alongside there because I want it a bit thicker on the other side. So I'm going to leave that white. I made a little mess up right here because I was expanding the size of the ear. But we're going to leave that part pretty thick and then that part kind of thin. And then the same with this side. I want to make sure this side of the ear is thin. I'm gonna bring that down, not too far down, but right above the eye. And then bring this guy up. Cute. Okay, so sticking with our brown and, and I'm using my detail brush, <clears throat> I'm gonna start about halfway. So from the chin down, I'm gonna find uh, spot halfway and this is not going to be a straight line. This is a curved line because I want to make sure It looks like it's being wrapped around I want to make this pretty darn thick. So I'm going to have this go 
kind of cockeyed line because I want this to be a disheveled looking little llama. Oops, got a little water. All right, so now made those two lines. I'm gonna have where the scarf is being tucked in. So I'm going to make this curved line in the center. And then I'm just gonna bring this down to the very bottom of the painting. And I'm gonna do the same thing <coughs> on the other side. Oh, my brush needs a little bit more water. I'm gonna bring this scarf other side all the way down to the very bottom. And that's okay if you leave that line. We want that there. We're just, you know, making the, the, the sketch. And then I'm going to draw a curved line underneath the left side. And then another line on the other side representing that fold. I want this to look like it's been wrapped around a couple times, so I'm going to put another line here. And then the other thing we have to do is just have the other side sticking out where the where it's been folded. And I'm not going to make this go to the very bottom. I'm just going to make this go a little bit to the side. Yeah. Now I want to put, I love fabric. Fabric is actually really fun to paint. This will be fun. I want to put a line in the center because, well, because I want to make it look like folded fabric. And I'm going to bring this all the way down. put another line, another fold here, and it's going to get a little closer to that other line. So this line right here, it's going to start thick at the top and then get skinnier at the bottom. Okay. I want to put a fold, a little fabric fold right in here. But I, yeah, I'm going to go to the very end. Why not? Anything else? And I want to put another little fold right here. Okay. I think that is it. I changed my mind. <clears throat> I am going to make a fold right here on the other side. Okay. Now let's get started on that background. So I'm starting with my large brush and I made sure, I'm going to make sure I dampen it. Um, what I did was I added my light magenta with my white, titanium white, as well as my Persian red. Okay, so it's like a light pink with my magenta and my titanium white. I mixed a ton of that together and I'm adding, um, I would say, a lot of my magenta with a little bit of white and a little bit of light pink or the Persian red. Okay, and I made a, quite a bit of it because I'm going to cover the whole background of this llama as well as the side of the painting. All right, so let's get started on that. Oh, I love this color. Now you can probably see that I painted over a over something. I have made a, a blue sky on the background, but then I covered it over with white. So disregard that weird patchy look um, behind this behind this uh, llama right now. So I'm using my brush on its side, and it's really okay if you go over some of the hair. But I'm just using that to kind of go in between the hairs so that I'm not leaving white. You don't want to leave any white in the background. <clears throat> we want to cover all that. And 
definitely use your water because that'll help push the paint around like I always say. So I'm just using the side of my brush to kind of go in between the areas that there's going to be some white in where the hairs are. I'm going to go at the bottom, I'm going around the scarf. And I always say it's better to get closer to the painting than leaving a white outline around the painting because that just doesn't make sense. We have to make sure we cover it with uh, the one color that we've worked hard to mix up. Then we don't have to remix that color and then paint over it again. But obviously we can always do that. It's just not very convenient. When I was thinking of ideas for my next tutorial, um, I just knew something warm and cozy would be very fitting for this time of year. <laughs> Today it is actually negative 30 degrees out and I'm definitely not going outside, but my poor husband, he's a FedEx courier and he is working hard in this weather and it just made me think of scarves and gloves and he went out with, a, almost went out with a onesie on, and he also was wearing a face mask. It's just, temperatures are just unbelievably cold. So I hope this painting keeps you warm and inspires you and makes you feel cozy. And also guys, you do not have to use hot pink gents if you want to use blue. If you want to do green, by all means, you do not have to use this girly pink color if you don't want to. Now I, even though I thought I made a lot, I'm actually running out of paint. So what I always recommend if that happens to you is mix up some more while you still have the color that you're working with. And I'm going to do that right now because that means that you don't have to work really hard to match that color. using my palette knife comes in handy so much when you're mixing color. The palette knife is definitely a very efficient tool of mixing colors. All right so I got a little bit more mixed up and now I'm just going around my ear. I don't really want to see too much um, dark brown because the llama that we're painting is really, really white, really light colored. So I kind of want to go over a lot of that dark brown around the, you know, that we made for the outline. And for the hair, I'm going to actually do the same thing I did down here. I'm going to use the side of my brush because um, this guy has really like a, like a little poofy mohawk going on. And it really doesn't matter if I'm going over my line. You can see that because I'm going to take that white and I'm just going to bring it over the pink. So don't worry about that. As usual, don't forget to paint the sides of your paintings. While 
while you have this color mixed, why not use it to paint the side so you don't have to go back later? So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of this llama, doing the neck, covering it all with this background color. So our next step is with a damp medium brush. I am just stamping my medium brush and I the color I've made is this gray. So gray is just simply titanium white with my black and I added just a tiny bit of black and a good amount of, uh, of white so that I can cover a bit of space because this is our darkest gray, I think, I'm going to test it. And it's our darkest gray for, first of all, underneath our the chin, which is going to be where the sun really isn't hitting much, right underneath that chin. So I, I'm actually liking this color. This is a good gray. And I'm just going to cover over the dark brown. I don't really want to see any dark brown. And I'm going to kind of make this hair motion. We're going to go over it with white, but I want to put a little bit of that on the bottom. I also want to put um, around the eye, right underneath the eye, I want to put some definition around the face. So I'm just going to do that going around that jaw. And the same thing with the other side. I want to make that go around the eye and around the jaw. And then I want to put some right at the bottom of the ear, right at the top of the eye. Now I want to start going and making that outline around the ear. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna make that thin, that thin line that we were talking about before around this llama's ear. Now I'm not gonna paint the whole thing white. I'm not gonna paint the whole ear uh, of this gray. I just wanna cover the darker parts of the ear. And this ear is not pointy. It's actually a little bit rounded at the top. Slight point, but not very much at all. And I'm going to extend this guy out just a smidge, covering all my brown. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing to the other ear. I just want to get around that dark brown that we did. And I want to try and make these ears as, symmetri as symmetrical as possible. And that may require me using some pink. We shall see. Because this ear looks a bit fat. Make sure you use that water. I've I've pretty much covered this whole ear with that gray, but you know mistakes are are very uh, fixable. They can always be fixed with pink. Um, so this ear I'm I'm happy with. This ear is a bit too thick. 
So what I can do is uh, make some more pink and then go over that. So I'm gonna do that in a little bit. Right now I'm just gonna finish my gray. So we're finishing both ears. I'm gonna make that fix. If you have to fix anything by making things, making things uh, more angled, making things thinner like I have to, definitely make sure you um, add some more pink. So still on the step of the gray, I want to now use this gray to coat the nose and the mouth. Okay, so this is the fun part. We're gonna use our medium brush to create that outline around the nostril. Okay, so I just outlined the dark brown part that I made for that not that big nostril. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna bring that in towards the center. I'm going to cover this whole nostril, the top part, with this gray. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to create that line with a steady hand. And if, uh, and I see some areas that I might want to go over with dark brown. If you did that, if you kind of messed up, maybe your hand was a little uh, unsteady, that's okay, we can go over that with dark brown. I'm just kind of going over the one side of the nostril because this llama seems to have kind of an indent in the nose. Okay, so now this these cute little lips, I'm going to paint uh, with this gray and I'm gonna paint the whole inside of it. I'm gonna make it join with the nose. And I'm actually okay with leaving some of this dark brown for now, because I wanna, I wanna have some uh, darkness in where the lip is split. Oh, isn't this such a cute little llama? He's so happy, it makes me so happy. I love it. This is kind of why art therapy helped me so much was I was creating these happy, cheerful animals and it, it's like as you're painting, as, I, as you're looking at this animal, how can you not smile? So I hope they can do the same for you guys. <laughs> okay, same with the bottom. You just want to cover in, we're just painting inside the lines basically, inside the lines of the of the nose and the chin. So cute. I'm gonna go in with that later and make a, a bit darker around the mouth and around the sides. Um, I want to use some of this gray to, oh, I didn't realize that. I did a little, little oopsie. I'm gonna go back to that later, I'm talking out loud. I wanna make the, um, the color underneath the eye, the eyelid, a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go back to that later. But I'm going to take this gray and just kinda of make it come in a little bit around the eyes. Because this guy's got this afro that's kinda of like poofing out. Okay, so I'm still not done with this gray. I'm just dampening my medium brush because I want to do some more, um, more gray. So I actually realized that I want to add some of this gray alongside the llama face. I don't want to leave any of that white there. I'm just going to go into the pink. I'm going to leave that. And the other areas I want to add gray is right down here where there's a little bit of a shadow because of the scarf. So I'm just going to cover that whole part of the llama with this gray on the bottom. All the way to the bottom of the canvas. Okay, 
Okay, I don't really think I need any more. Um, maybe around here. Make that hair go out a little bit more. I want to cover up that brown as much as possible, so I'm going to do that with my gray on the side. And I'm going to go now and fix the outside of my llama because I have little mistakes here. So I'm going to use that with my pink. So I'm going to mix up some more pink. And if you have to do that, guys, by all means, but if not, just bypass this step. Okay, so the next color I made was I made this, I don't want to make, I'm not using straight black and I'm not using straight brown. And that's what I'm doing. I'm actually working on the eyes. I'm working on fixing up the ears and a little bit of the darkness underneath the mouth. But I don't want, I don't want those darkest colors. I just combined black with brown with a little bit of titanium white. So with my detail brush, I'm going to use that and really just a tiny bit of white, a, a good amount of my dark brown, my raw umber, and then just a little bit of black. Okay, so now we're just gonna, like we did, we were doing this sketch and I said you didn't have to make it perfect because this is the step now where we're gonna refine it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this color to fill in with my detail brush to just kind of add more detail to the eye. So there is this cute little eyelash that comes out. I also want to make this eye a little bit more rounded so it's kind of curved outward as opposed to inward. I want to bring this eye up and pointed towards the top. I want to round it at the top. Okay, so we're going to try and make the other eye as symmetrical as we can. I want to bring it up and then have it pointed. I want to round the top of the eye. And I want to make that cute little eyelash. Just like that. I added a few eyelashes on this one, so I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to bring this eye down. Just try to make this as even as possible. Llamas have kind of wide, big, wide eyes. Now I'm going to increase the size of the nostril by just making this a little higher, filling it in as I go. I also want to bring this line down, okay? Bringing this line down, just, a, just not down too far, just a little bit into the top of the lip, just a little bit. And I'm going to bring this nostril up a little bit more, making sure that I fill it in with my dark brown that I just made. Okay, now I'm going to use this dark color to fill in the bottom of the mouth. I don't want to see white, so I'm going to go over kind of outline the mouth a little bit better. All right, I'm going to use um, this color to fill in the ear. Now what I kind of want to do is cut into my gray. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of trying to make it look like fur by just kind of cutting, cutting into that gray. And I definitely want to do that around this part of the ear. And then a 
little bit at the top. Just a little bit on the sides here while making sure to fill in the ear with this color. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, just cutting in to that gray, giving it that hairy look. And then cutting into the side. painting in just the top of the ear with this dark brown. The next color I mixed is this dark gray, and but I also added some of my brown to that as well. So what I did was I added a good amount of white, I added um, about half as much brown, and then a tiny bit of black. Mix that together, and that color is lighter than the darkest color we just made, but then darker than that light gray that we made. Okay, and again with my detail brush, a damp detail brush, you're going to, we're going to start with the eye, this part of the eyelids. I don't know. I may change my mind because this may look a little too dark, but this is all just kind of I'm, I had no plan for this, really. I'm just kind of making it up as I go, and that might be too dark. I, I guess I'll paint the other side, and we'll see what it, what it looks like. Yeah, I'm feeling like that's too dark, but we'll leave it, and we're going to fix it later. These mistakes always turn out to be great things in the end, so we're just going to leave it. I'm going to use this color though to put some definition around this, this uh, mouth. So there's actually a little bit of a, um, of this dark gray, like a little triangle that's kind of showing the shadow of the nose on the top of the mouth. And then that gray is also all along the bottom of the mouth, a little bit of a shadow. And then the light is kind of hitting this direction. That's what I've decided. <laughs> and so I'm going to make this dark on the left side. And then this is also going to hit, there's a little bit of darkness underneath the nose. Just a little tiny bit of that darkness underneath the nose. And also by the nostrils, just where the light is not really touching. And I think that's about it for our dark Oh, nope, I lied. There's actually a little bit more. So I want to put a little bit of an eyelash. I'm sorry, not an eyelash, an eyelid on the top part of the llama. But again, this may be too dark, so that's okay. We will just place it for now. I'm just going to make this kind of a bit thicker on this side. And then the other last place I'm going to put this is right underneath the chin right here. I'm going to kind of, I need to wet my brush, but I want to make this look like hair, like I was doing with the light gray, but not very much. You don't want it to come out very much. It's just a little accent underneath the chin. So really not that much. 
because this is a really very white alpaca, um, not alpaca, llama. I don't know the difference between an alpaca, alpaca and a llama. If any of you know, I would be interested to know. Okay, so that is that for the dark gray, and I am now going to make a lighter gray, I think, to put over these, eyelet, or these uh, eyelids. In order to make that lighter color, I pulled that gray that we just made, or that brownish gray that we just made, and I just added white to it. So add a good amount of white, not too much, because we're not trying to make it too light, but with my detail brush, we're going to take that and use that for the eyelids. So I'm not gonna cover this whole thing. I wanna, I still wanna leave some of that darkness, but I just kind of touched the side. I'm sorry, not the side, the inside of it. And I'm also gonna do that right here as well. Just, this, just the top part, but leaving some dark at the, towards the bottom of the face. Same with the other side. And then same with the top part. Oh, that looks better. And of course I want to use this on other areas. I'm going to put this gray on the nose to kind of make that blend a little bit better. I think I want to put that on the side of the nostril right there. I'm going to put this gray down where we just put the dark gray. I want to add that right underneath the chin. think we need to add anywhere anywhere else so let's move on to our lighter color do you know the really nice thing about this painting is that we can just build on the color by adding white because this has just so much of grays and, and whites in it so all I did was the last color we just mixed I added just a tiny bit of that and then I add a big amount of white so here is the white color that I made it's it's like a gray brownish because we just kind of built up by adding more and more white. So mix up that color and we're gonna use our medium brush. Now, I've decided that the medium brush I'm gonna use is this guy. Now this flat brush really makes it very easy to do hair, but it's not too small, not too big, it's just right. So we're gonna use this medium brush and we're gonna start by adding this gray around the face. So I'm just gonna add this around underneath the nose, I want to just take it straight down from the eye and around the chin. And then the thing I want to do guys is add this hair. So I'm turning this brush to this, at the, on its side. <laughs> I can't talk. And I want to just carry this down over top the gray. It gives it a really nice layering look. So that I'm leaving, you can see I'm leaving some of this dark gray, but I'm actually taking this light gray over the pink. Now, 
there's some areas that I left white and I'm just gonna go over that with my this color oh darn if you went over your nose a little bit like I did that's okay we can always fix it later Yeah, so I'm gonna leave that around the edge. I'm going to put this light gray all along the bottom. Some areas are gonna go into the dark black, some are just gonna to touch the, gray, the dark gray. But I just wanna give it that texture and that shading look that I like so much. And we're just gonna wrap this around, doing the same thing that we did on the other side. I wanna fill that in. is getting a little dry so I'm going to add some more white or water <laughs> this guy is looking so cute I'm trying to make that as as symmetrical as possible, both sides of the face. Okay. I'm actually gonna take that light gray and I'm gonna create like, oh, this brush is getting a little wet or, or dry adding some water to it, adding that hair-like look to the top of the ear on both sides. Now I'm going to bring it all the way to the top of that eye Gonna connect it. I'm actually gonna leave the nose white. Um, we have some white here. I'm gonna leave it white because it's gonna be really bright. So, and I also want to take this light gray around the side of the other, the other side of the ear, and I want to cut into parts of that ear, pretty far into that ear because I. I really want it to look like a deep ear. Now I'm not covering over all that dark gray, just some parts of it. And I'm not gonna bother with doing the top part of the ear because that's really where we're gonna make a lot of white. Yep. Now I'm going to add this light gray um, to some areas underneath here. We're gonna start working on this neck a little bit more. actually want to make that hair look I'm going to start doing that on the on the neck as much as I can I'm going to kind of almost like trace around the scarf 
all the way to the bottom. And I'm leaving, if you notice, I'm leaving a lot white in the middle because that is where it's going to be quite bright. And again, I'm just making this hair look all the way to the bottom. We're definitely working on lots of layers on this guy. Going from dark to light. Same with this side. I want to start making that hair over top the gray. Sporadic. So it's not going to have that white in the middle. This side's not really getting a whole lot of sun. So I'm just going to kind of randomly put these hairs using that side of my brush all over that gray. Do the same thing to the sides like we did here. We left the white. Some areas are going to be really poofy and you know what? I'm actually going to have this hair poof out quite a bit towards the bottom. So I'll show you what that means that looks like. This hair is kind of, it's a really tight scarf, so I'm going to make that gray go out pretty far. Over top the scarf. Now, I'm, I don't think I'm going to go much over the top because we're going we're gonna to paint that with our color. So I'm just going to finish this part up on the side here. One, one thing I noticed that it really makes your hair thick and not really look like the, you know, get to a point when there's lots of paint drying on your brush. So that's why it's really important to wash out your brush in this phase of doing the, the fur coat. Because then you can get that really fine, it comes to a point more. All right, so it kind of goes in and then comes out. So it's poofy up here, comes in and then goes out. And that is what the, the effect that you want. Okay, so that's for a light gray. So guys, we're not mixing any colors right now. We're actually gonna use that same brush that we were using and we're using um, white. So titanium white, nothing else. We're making this llama really bright. And so where you see white is where we're going to add this white. <laughs> it's pretty easy. And so I'm going to start with the neck. I'm going to use, do the same thing I did before with that, that hair effect. And I'm going to just do that over top the gray that we just did. I want to extend that out pretty far into the pink. All right, now I'm just going to have that climb, that hair climb up the side of the llama, making sure that I leave a lot of that dark gray just popping. I keep losing my reference photo. And have fun with this. Like these hairs can kind of go funky ways. They can go, um, I'm kind of having mine go out and then kind of come around. But this is kind of a cute little disheveled looking llama. So have fun with it. I'm gonna carry that white, just like we did with the gray. I'm going to carry that white around 
the bottom of the neck. I apologize for get, being so dark. The sun has gone down very fast. I might have to turn on my light soon. Trying to keep with the, the symmetry of, of both sides of this llama. Making sure that it kind of flares the bottom. Lovely. I'm not going to fill this in yet because I am going to work on other parts of the face. So, of course, I'm going to fill this part in the top of the nose. But as I work my way down, I'm going to kind of create that hair. Really know how I'm gonna do it but I guess we will just find out I think what I want to do is just create tiny little hairs around the face just not something as long as these were but just little ones around making sure that you leave some gray underneath I'm just gonna fill in around the mouth So again, we're just going to make these tiny hairs. A little bit will go over that dark gray. I want to give this guy a little bit of a chin, hairy chin. I am liking this. Okay, so that turned out to be a good move. <laughs> good move. Okay. See, art is all about exploration. It is just learning, trying, seeing what looks good, seeing what really doesn't look good, and just learning as you go. Okay, so now we're going to work on that cute little mohawk. And this is fun because you're just going to use the side of your brush and you're just going to make these big strokes over top the pink. You want to make these pretty darn tall and thick because this guy got some big hair going on, bad hair day. You can take it up as high as you want. I'm going to take it up probably about here. While you're doing that, you just want to fill in that white part. And this white actually goes around the eyes. I didn't go over that gray. I kept that gray. Okay. I just am going to take that up <laughs> he's so cute <laughs> I 
I'm getting a sticky brush, so I'm going to wipe that out. Sometimes you have to start like midway. You don't have to start from the bottom. You can just start from the top and then just go up. So we got his cute little mohawk and we're going to touch the top of the ears. I just want a little bit of hair touching the top of the ear. I really want to keep this part gray, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this white around the ear. Same with the other side. We just want to have a little bit of fuzziness on the top of the ear. I'm going to have a little bit carried down the side. Okay, so definitely they went from the top I think I might even want to put some more and goes down along the ear okay so I would also like to put I'm just trying to think of where else I want some of this white well definitely here I'm just going to add this white alongside here, making sure that I fill in that white part while still making that hair over top the gray. I'm not going over all the gray, I'm just kind of putting hairs over top without covering all of it. do the same thing I did with that lighter gray. I'm just going to add more highlights to that hair on the left side just to give it more, um, you know, more detail. Lovely. I think what I would also like to do is add a little bit of this white to the eye. I like that. See, that looks really good. All right, guys, so grab your detail brush because we're going to make some good details on <laughs> some of the the parts of the eye using this white okay so we're going to add a highlight right here and it's going to look kind of like a pac-man not too big but just a little highlight right underneath right at the top of the the front of the eye i'm going to do the same thing Except I'm not going to make a Pac-Man. I'm just going to have 
two dots on the eye like that. And then I also would like to put a little highlight on the side. So I did one, two, three on the left eye, and I'm just gonna put a little dot on the other eye. Okay. I turned on my light because it was getting a little dark in here. Hopefully you guys can see that much better. And for my next color, I'm so excited because these are like one of my favorite colors. But I added my bright aqua green with my gray purple. Okay, I added a lot of the aqua green and just a tiny bit of the gray purple. Mix that together using my medium brush. I'm now going to paint the darkest parts of this scarf. So I'm going to paint in here in this little section. I'm, I'm actually going to use this color for most of it just to kind of give it a base. I've decided. Yeah, we're just going to paint this whole scarf this color and then we're going to move on to layering it. And make sure you leave some brown, not on the side here. We want to cover up the brown on the side but we still need a, a marker, an indicator that the separation of the scarf. So see, like I'm leaving the brown underneath there, but I wanna make sure I get it all on the side right there. I just love this color of her pink. So cute. I'm just, ooh, that was a lot of paint. Just covering every part of the scarf. Notice on the bottom too, make sure you cover up the brown, like I should be doing that here. It's okay if you cut into the fur a little bit. I'm going to do it on this side. Okay, now we're gonna, making sure that I, I get all the brown on the outside of this part of the scarf. And we might have to add two layers, two coats of this green because that brown behind it is actually pretty powerful. It's a really dark color. I'm just noticing that I see a lot, even with this green over top or this teal, I guess is just showing not really as powerful as that that brown so anything touching the pink is the brown that we should cover that's a better way of describing it some of that brown inside there it's kind of a bummer but um, I'm going to go over some of that gray didn't kind of expect that but we can go over that later with gray
And then same with the inside. I, as far as the brown goes, I think that anything touching the llama is going to be covered up. So that brown that's touching the llama, I'm going to cover up like this hair part. But on the inside, I'm going to leave it brown. So this line I'm not going over. I'm going over this line because that was what we did in our sketch, but not these lines. I'm only doing that to help us kind of understand the separation of the layers. What a cute color. I think I didn't make enough of the color. We shall see. Oh well, if I have to make more, then I will make more. <laughs> I always end up going for blues and teals. That is definitely my favorite color. But the pink is definitely, I knew I wanted to make a painting with different color scheme than I'm, I have been doing. And I thought pink would be something different. But hey, you don't even have to make this color scarf. You can make a blue scarf. I'm making some more of this color, this aqua green with uh, the purple mixing some more up so that I can finish the last strip of white on this scarf. I went over that brown a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to use a different color for that. I think. I, I, I may change my mind. I don't know, I kind of like the, the brown. Now you don't want to leave any bits of white. I see a little bits of white on mine. cover any white or any parts that just need a second coat because this color isn't as strong as the brown and I like that real vibrant like rich layer of the green guys for my next color I just added my viridian with titanium white and I added a lot of the viridian with just a tiny bit of the white okay and we're gonna put the highlights on this scarf so hopefully it's dry for you I think mine's a little damp we shall see and I, with a damp medium brush 
I'm going to add this color to where the light's hitting the scarf. So I'm just going to place it. It's just basically some highlights in some areas. This is kind of like a triangle. I'm going to put them alongside the side of the scarf. Making that more, more rounded. I'm not painting the whole thing. I'm still leaving some of that, um, sh that green shine through. I want to put some on the very top here. Making that come down. Oh, it's still a little wet. I'm going to have some on the top here as well. I like to do this a lot in my paintings where I kind of have the light hitting both sides and then making this little swoop in the middle. I don't know why I do that, but it kind of gives it character. And some highlight on that one. I'm just going to make a line going down. I'm going to add some highlights to the side of this guy. I want to have it thicker at the top where the light's hitting. Same with this side. I don't want to really get much in here, not too much, maybe just a, t a tiny bit because it's darker in there. I'm going to make this come down pretty far. And then I'm going to have the top of this being hit by this light green. So darling, this is so, so cute. I'm just going to get the corner of this side part of the scarf. Just a little bit down here. I want to make sure I, I cover the top part of that. There we go. I would like, I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. And again, I think another two layers sometimes makes it look so rich and, and vibrant. I'm just going to do that a little bit on this side, just adding another layer. And I'm going to put some right here. There's actually this little line that I went over. And I'm just going to put some on those two, just alongside that brown. I'm going to bring this down. I don't know. Do I want to add some more? Yeah. I'm just going to make that line a little thicker. Again, I'm going to add a second co coat to this side. I almost forgot a major step, guys, and that is to add more of that white color that we made over top the scarf. Now I'm just placing it over because before it was just cut off and there was no hair shown, but now we're just going to add that hair with the side of our medium brush using titanium white, like we did before, over top, okay? 
I made it go out to the left on the left side and out to the right on the right side and then just randomly over top the scarf on that side. Now any mistakes that you see, so maybe you want to add some brown areas, maybe you want to add more white, anything that you see that you want to make some changes to, take the time right now to, to make those changes. Well, thank you for watching, friends. I hope that was fun and relaxing. Um, I really appreciate just all the comments you've been leaving me. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave that in the comment section below. And if you already haven't, make sure you subscribe for every Friday I post animal painting tutorials. And make sure you let, click the like button if that was also helpful for you. So thanks again, and we will see you next time. Bye.